I hope everyone is well and enjoying. Well, here in southern Ontario, it's been a heat wave, and today it's still hot, but it's not humid and oppressive and all of that stuff. Hello, Margaret Sample coming to you live from the Niagara region. And it's Fairy Friday, and normally on Fairy Friday, what I'm doing is giving you messages from um, Brian Froud's beautiful fairy oracle deck. But this week, um, it's going to be a little bit different. And those of you who are regular viewers will know that I wasn't able to be on live last week. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what all was going on and the fairy that um, came to me really clearly. So, um, last week, oh, the 12th, I had a dream and I, I felt like I really wanted to go visit my mom. So I thought, okay, it wasn't a bad dream. It was a lovely dream, in fact. So I thought, mm, nice dream. And then I was like, nope, you've got to go. You've got to go. You've got to go. So listen to your intuition, right? So I went and I had a wonderful visit with my mom and um, my second day there, she was, um, we had to take her into the emergency with some heart stuff. Now, she's home, she's recovering from some surgery, and we're, we're really grateful for everything. Um, living in Canada, we're so lucky with our health care that we, we sometimes forget. Uh, it was challenging, of course, because with um, the whole COVID situation, nobody could go in to the ER with my mom, which was hard on everybody. Um, as you can imagine, however, nurses were wonderful. Um, healthcare workers, they just like, I bow down to you, really. Just thank you, everybody, for all the work you do. So, so a couple of interesting things with fairies and this trip to Ottawa. So a big one was, um, I was we were driving my mom in to the Heart Institute in Ottawa. We drove um, along the experimental farm and that's where I grew up in that area and my sister who was in the car with my, my mom and me the three of us went in she said oh Peggy that's where you used to always take us on walks and tell us all about fairies and I was like oh yeah I'd forgotten how big a part fairies have played in my life throughout my life going right back to when we were small so that was kind of fun and um the next day as i was walking back and forth the lane at my mom's first thing in the morning before it became 33 degrees feeling like 41 celsius for anybody in the states um so that's really hot that's like 105 fahrenheit is what it was feeling like uh, before it got that bad i was walking the lane in the morning and it's such a great way to commune with nature and just to listen and I kept hearing and seeing in my head, listen, listen, listen. And it was spelled L-Y-S-S-E-N, listen, listen. And I'm like, this is a fairy talking to me. This is really cool. And um, as it went along, her full name is, listen to your intuition. <laughs> so, um, and I could see her and she was chatting with me. So, um, Instead of one of the beautiful um, fairy oracle cards from Brian Proud, I attempted to draw um, what she looks like. So, oops, here she is. Listen to your intuition. And what you'll notice is the ear and all, oh yes, she has chakras spinning and light coming and it's being open and receptive and listening. So what she was talking to me about and what she talks about is when you have that little voice, pay attention to that little voice. Um, because she's like, listen, listen, here I am, listen. And it's easier to hear her when it's quiet. So she encourages us to take five minutes to just sit somewhere quiet without television, without music, 
sit and listen to listen. And she loves it when we're outside, of course. The fairies all love us being outside because they're all in nature. And guys, I know you're tuning in. Hello, hello. I cannot see any remarks today. So um, hello, thank you for tuning in. Um, so she, they all, fairies all love when we're outside because that's their natural habitat, of course, and it's our natural habitat too, for that matter. Anyways, so go outside and walk and listen. And if you can get into the trees and the, the gardens, beautiful places to be and be able to connect with fairy energy. And um, the thing is, listen wanted to remind us all that we are all our own experts. We all have knowledge and ability to tune into them. Um, and we sometimes forget it and we think, oh, 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 I need to, I need to check with, I need to check with Brian's cards. Although I, I will always check with Brian's cards and we'll probably be right back to those next week. But also, you know, or, or what's Margaret saying about fairies today? Listen also to what you're saying about fairies, what you're hearing about fairies. Do you see the sparkle out of the corner of your eyes? Do you feel like it's a fairy? If you feel like it is, it will be. Um, if you think that it's something else, maybe, it, you know, and always check. I mean, I'm always looking, um, is there car headlights going past, past outside? Or is that something like that? Or you know, that little scurry in the, in, the, in the carpet of leaves over there. Is that a squirrel? And I'll watch. Because fairies are, are hard to catch. So, um, but, but trust yourself. Trust your intuition. And, you know, even if you're not... I, I haven't been an artist. Um, it's funny. It's one of those things that as a child I, I drew all the time. And it's something I think Listen is telling me get back to. Um... What else do you want to tell them? The the voices that the little voice that that prompts you to connect with somebody, that little voice that prompts you to stop putting off what you've been putting off and get it done. Do it. Um, you know that the our own intuition. We have great intuition. We have all this inner knowledge, and we have our guides and our angels and fairies helping us as we go along. So um, the listen to your intuition. Oh, okay, I'll tell the story. One time I was, uh, we were going to Winnipeg for a wedding and it was a late night thing. Um, and, oh, I just have seen, see Facebook has a new setting for this. There they are. Hello, Sarah Rose. Hello, Linda. Um, <laughs> I knew you were here somewhere. Facebook's changed how they do their lives, so I'm, I'm always learning new things, it seems. Um, and I lost that train of thought, but that's okay, we'll come back. But listen, um, ah, Winnipeg, thank you. We were going to Winnipeg, flying late at night. I was picking up, um, my Brent was coming home from a night shift. We were driving at night. I was doing those last minute packing things. Um, and I hear this voice in my head, and it said, take the passports. I'm like, I don't need to take our passports. We're flying within the country. And I heard the voice again, take your passports. And I'm like, okay, I'll take the passports. So I grab my passport, I grab Brent's passport, I stick them in my little passport carrier thing, and, you know, finished packing up. He came, we went to the airport. We're like getting there at like three in the morning, um, parked the car, took the shuttle. We're waiting in the waiting room. Brent fell asleep because he did on his 12 hour shift. And when they called us to start boarding, I, I said, hey, wake up, pull out your wallets so you can pull out your driver's license to get on the plane. And he went, I left my wallet in the car. And I said, no problem. I've got our passports. So things like that, if we will, she is saying to you, remember to listen to your intuition. Uh, we listen with our ears, mostly. We listen with our inner ears to our inner voice. Um, when I'm working, when I'm doing readings, it's it's usually I'm hearing folks with my inner ear. I'm hearing my guides. I'm hearing your guides with my inner ear. So it's not like, you know, uh, 
every now and then I get to hear real voices, but not very often. Um, and they're always pleasant. <laughs> so um, it's it's an important it's important to know that your while I while it's shown with her ear being you know and it oh I wish I could draw her ear the way I could I can see it in with my inner eye. But listen, listen, listen. And also you're listening. I'm patting my tummy. You're also listening. She says, pay attention to that gut feeling. Listen to your intuition. Really, she wants us, listen, wants us to pay attention to our gut. Um, now, I saw her. She had a really lovely round tummy, like um, almost like, you know, the four-month pregnant, five-month pregnant belly. So, and that is where the seed of our intuition is in our gut. So she is reminding you and me and all of us, pay attention to that feeling. I'm so glad that in this case, I did listen to my intuition because I got to be there. I got to um, visit with my mom ahead of time. I got to be there while she was in the hospital, uh, being with my brothers and sisters through it, um, you know, properly socially distanced a lot of the time. But we were able to, I was, I was able to be there. I wasn't six hours away uh, as I normally am. And it was, I'm just so grateful. And that's why when she made herself very clear, and I walked every day that I was there after, um, I was there for uh, 11 days or something, but um, it was it was uh, almost two weeks. Every morning she would pop in my head as I was walking on the lane. And she'd be like, yeah, remember to, remember to talk about me, remember to talk about, and here, and get your colors out and, and draw me. So, Please, folks, listen to your intuition when she comes along and she, her name, it's very important to her that you spell her name L-Y-S-S-E-N. I love how fairies give us these messages. Okay, um, what else did I want to mention today? Um, thanks for tuning in. If you are somebody who likes to vote for things, I have been nominated for uh, Best Psychic um, in the Welland Tribune newspaper and the St. Catherine Standard and there's links on the page. Um, if you love to vote, please go in and click nominate. <laughs> I think you can I think you can vote every day. Um, and also it's the last week of voting for the Amber Price Halo Awards. So um, I know that I'm nominated uh, I've been nominated I'm full psychic medium, uh, holistic healer, spiritual artist and I think that's and then, of course, yeah, from there. So if you like to vote, please click vote. I appreciate all your support. And um, any other note? Oh, I'm supposed to tell you? <laughs> Sorry. The fairies really love when we, um, when we admire the flowers outside and when we, uh, when we learn about the flowers. They're, um, they're very, very happy with all the wildflowers that are springing up this year. Um, some people call them weeds, but I like to call them wildflowers. So uh, if, you're, if you're curious, look up Pearly Everlasting. It's a wildflower I see all the time. I never knew that's what it was called. Um, and it, it, it came up with connection to listen. So I wish you all a wonderful week. And I will see you right here next Fairy Friday. Thank you for tuning in. And if you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up or a like or a heart or whatever. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye. Now I have to figure out how to end it. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy watching me struggle. There it is over there. Okay.